in this class sir uh, we will design a, a rectangular bunker of a given capacity and the uh, angle of approach is given for the construction is given and uh, grade of competence we are given so this is a typical uh, design problem of rectangular bunkers so the given data is like this the bunker should have a capacity of 300 kN to store coal of unit weight 8 kN per meter that is this is the gamma value angle of repose of coal it has to be given that is 25 degree phi value coefficient of friction between coal and concrete u dash value 0.0444 So the question is: Design the side walls and upper bottom by taking a M20 concrete and FE405 space. Now the solution is like this. In the last class, I have explained the design steps of a rectangular bunker. Now we will see how we can design it for the given data. Now this is the rectangular bunker. So the middle portion is uh, a rectangle in plan. So we have to fix the dimensions or assume the dimensions of the different portions, and we have to find the slit length. What is the height of the bunker? And of course, yes, given here uh, the angle of repose is 25 degree. Normally, the angle of repose and angle of surcharge they are taken same. So therefore, this is the surcharge portion. So if you dump the coal in the bunker, it will stand like this. So this angle also, angle of surcharge, we can equate it to angle of repose 25 degree. So this height I will take as h1 from here to here. This height of rectangular portion I will take as h, and this is the upper bottom portion wherein opening is provided here. So I will take the area of this rectangular portion as a1, and the area of this opening as a2. Here is the area of the opening, the opening of this. So those two things we have to fix over here in the design, and I will assume the uh, the slope of uh, This uh, upper bottom or this sloping slab has 45 degrees. So theta is 45 degrees. So this is an assumption. 45 degrees we can assume. This is given in the problem for the given material. Now, first step in this is to fix the dimensions of the bunker. So dimensions means all these things: H1, H2, H1, 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 If you divide the capacity by unit weight, capacity is in kilometer. Unit weight will be in kilometer per meter. If you divide this capacity by unit weight, you are going to get volume. So volume of the bunker you are going to get here in this case it is 300 kilometer divided by 8 kilometer per meter, 37.5 meter cube. So 37.5 meter cube is the total volume. Total volume. So I have, here I have taken the Volumes as V1, V2, V3. You can observe here. So this V1 is this volume. Whatever volume is there in the surcharge portion. V2 is the volume stored in the rectangular uh, portion, and V3 is the volume stored in the upper bottom portion. This is unity. On this, this is an opening. So therefore, uh, that uh, whatever uh, uh, the coal is there, it will go out. So only this volume we have to take. Higher portion. So V1 plus V2 plus V3. That is your total volume. In this case, total volume you are getting 37.5 kg for the given capacity. Now we will calculate this V1, V2, V3 separately. So V1, so V1 is given by so this is the volume V1. V1 is nothing but so what you have to do is here this whatever area is there at this top of this uh, uh, bunker, the rectangular portion top or all. Bottom of this uh, circular portion, so that uh, a1 multiplied by h1, this height uh, into 1 by 3. That means if you take this as a cube, uh, if, you, if you take that as a solid, uh, one third of one third of the volume gives this one. You can see that is the uh, volume of a cone. You can say volume of a cone formula. So 1 by 3 of a1 here multiplied by h1. So here, what I will do here is I will assume the area, rectangular area, is three meter by three meter. Then instead of rectangular bunker, I will take it as a square bunker. So y is equal to three meter, b is equal to three meter. We can assume. Now here, if you assume that, 
So what happens is A1 becomes 9, 3 into 3, 9. H1 actually will be, what happens if this is, uh, the total is 3 meters, so if this becomes 1.5 or 1.5. See, this is it. in plan, the rectangle portion looks like this. This is 3 meters, this is 3 meters. In that, you have to take half, 1.5 meters. So therefore, your H1 becomes now in this triangle, in this small triangle, half of the triangle. If you want H1, H1 is, this is 1.5 into tan pi. So into tan pi, so you are going to get 0.7, 1.5 into tan pi, 0.7 meter. So H1 is 0.7 meter you got. Now if you substitute the value here, V1 will be 1 by 3 into 3 into 3 into 0.7, which is 2.1 meter cube. So I have assumed that the rectangle uh, plan area of the bunker and assuming that as a square bunker you got the value of uh, h1 as uh, 0.7 meter and all the corresponding volume v1 becomes uh, 2.1 meter cube. Now next is I am going to provide an opening of an opening at the upper bottom here so this opening of once again that uh, size I am going to take 0.5 meter by 0.5 meter. So this is the opening. So this area of this opening is your A2. So 0.5 by 0.5 that is A2. So now V3 I will calculate. So whatever uh, volume of uh, uh, that core is stored in this portion, hatchet portion, hatchet portion, hatchet portion, that volume is small. That is nothing but volume of this bigger cone minus volume of this smaller cone. So which is nothing but here 1 by 3 of Bigger corner area will be once again that is this area into this height h2 so a1 into h2 minus smaller corner area volume will be uh, that is area a2 multiplied by this height I will take as h2 dash so that's what I have taken here now what I have here so 1 by 3 into once again a1 is 3 into 3 that area of the rectangle buffer portion into h2 is 1.5 so from the diagram you can see since this is 45 degrees so whatever length is there here, same height will be there here. Because this is 45 degree, tan 45 is 1. Therefore, when this is 1.5, this also is 1.5. Therefore, H2 will be 1.5 meter. So if you take the H2 as 1.5 meter, so it will be like this here. Minus A2 is 0.5 into 0.5 into H2 dash. H2 dash, uh, what happens once again, this will be, this will be half of this. Half of this, that is, 0.25. So 1.5. So into you know, that will sorry. This will this you can uh, uh, take it as uh, once again here see how it is 0.25. Half of this. So this will be 0.5. Because I will assume the opening as 0.5 meter. Half of that will be 0.25. Since this is also 45 degree. So since this is 0.25, this is also 0.25. So therefore it is H2 will be 0.25. You simplify this you will get 4.48 meter cube. So V1 value is 2.1 meter cube, V3 value is uh, 4.48 meter cube and total volume V required is 37.5. So V2 you can calculate now. V2 is equal to total volume V minus of V1 plus V3 which is 37.5 minus 2.2 minus 4.48 comes out to be 30.92. So 30.92 meter cube is the volume center, central volume, that is rectangular portion volume. Now we will calculate the height h. Now you know the volume v2 you know, v2 you know and area you know. Area is 3 meter by 3 meter and you know the volume. So volume divided by area gives the value of this uh, chamber, uh, height of this chamber that is v2, uh, this volume is v2. So v2 divided by a1 that is 30.9 divided by 3 into 3 that is 9 which comes out to be 3.435 I will increase it to 3.5 so you can round it off so height of the uh, bunker central portion of the bunker you may take it as 3.5 meter so dimensions are now so the rectangle portion from the plan if you see it is 3 meter by 3 meter and the height in the elevation capital H will be 3.5 so therefore the bunker size is now bunker size is now 3 meter by 3 meter by 3.5 meter. So length is 3 meter, width is 3 meter, height is 3.5 meter. So this is the bunker size. So this is how you have to 
fixed dimensions of the bunker. So we have to assume some area. Of course, this is a diagonal thing. So for the given uh, data, this is enough. So normally, the height of the bunker, uh, you can take between 3 to 4 meters. So in general, so 3 to 4 meters. So here we have about 3.5 meters. So therefore, actually, what is the <coughs> volume we need to provide it? Because we have, we got 3.435 and that uh, we have uh, increased to 3.5 so actually provided is 3 into 3 into 3.5 that is 31.5 meter cube now the total storage capacity total storage capacity means it is V1 plus V2 plus V3 so we have refined we have revised the value of V2 so actually now we are providing uh, V1 plus V2 plus V3 the total volume multiplied by density gives the value of uh, that storage capacity gamma is 8 kilometers per meter cube and this V1 is 2.1, V2 is 31.5, revised value plus 4.48. If simplified that you will get 304.6 uh, uh, 304 kilometers, which is slightly more than 300, which is required. So he has given that we have to design uh, for 300 kilometers, but they have got 304 now. So it is safe now. So slightly more it can store. So this is the first part. So fixing the Dimensions of the bunker is the first part. Now, second part is design of side walls. Now, we have to design side walls and half to half, uh, half upper body. That I have explained in the uh, last uh, lecture. So, design of side wall, let us say. So, for that, <coughs> doing the design of side wall, you have to calculate. You have to calculate the horizontal thrust exerted on the walls, which is denoted as pH. The formula given for that is gamma h into cos square pi you have to remember so in the last lecture I had explained this so gamma h into cos square pi you know all the values gamma is h uh, h is 3.5 so this is the value of h now this is h 3.5 provided into cos square 25 degree which you are going to get 23 kilometer per meter square so it is the pressure horizontal pressure or thrust exerted on all the four walls of the rectangular portion of the Bunker. Now we are designing this wall also. So all the four walls we are designing. This one, this one, this one and this one. Okay. Now after any pH value, now we have to calculate the moments. So moments we have to calculate the corner points. Corner points are A, B, C, D. So these four corner points. Now here L is equal to B. Both are equal to 3 meters. So corner points we have to calculate as well as we have to calculate the center points. So this I have explained in the last uh, video. So E and M, G and H. So of course here, since L is equal to H, all the moments, all the moments at the corner points will be equal, and all the moments at the center points are also will be equal. At the corners, you have negative bending moment. Please note that very important. At the corners, you have negative bending moment. The formula for that is pH by 12 into L square plus B square and L into B. Since here L is equal to B for a square bunker, this B square minus L cancellation as B only. So B into B, B square just will get cancelled. We will be getting with the pH L square by 12. These two terms will get cancelled. Now B, uh, L, what we have to do, L is called as the effective length. Effective length of the wall. For effective length, what you have to do is you have to take clear fan plus thickness. So we will assume 180 mm thickness. Usually 150 to 180 mm we can provide just like our ordinary RCC slabs. Huh? So we will provide a, a 180 mm uh, thick wall. If you, you provide 180 mm thick wall, the effective span will be 3 plus 0.18. So 180 mm means 0.18 meter. So 3 plus 0.18, 3.18. So 3.18 L is the value of meters is the value of L. So if you substitute the formula pH is 36 km per meter square, L is 3.18, square of that divided by 12 is simplified, 19.38 km per meter you are going to get. That is a negative moment, negative moment you are going to get. Now we have to calculate one more force called tensile force. The tensile force P is your by pH into B by 2. That I have explained in the last uh, lecture. So pH into B once again. B and L are the same. Please note that L is equal to B here is equal to 3.18. When you are calculating moments, you have to take effective spans. Uh, keep that in mind. So if you get 36.57 kN as the tension force acting on the wall. So two things will be acting on the wall. One is bending moment, another is tension force. 
Now we have to calculate the moment due to this tension force also. Moment due to this tension force, one thing you have to understand here. This is the wall. I am providing 180 mm thickness here. I uh, am assuming 30 mm cover. 30 mm cover I am taking reinforcement. Reinforcement I am providing here. Tension force is acting here like this. Now the from the center, from the center to this uh, rod, it will be 90 minus 30, that is 60. So this value will be 60. 60 mm is called as the eccentricity. From the center to the reinforcement, uh, it is eccentricity. Tension force is carried by the steel. Therefore, what is the moment due to the central force will be the T into E. T into eccentricity. T is 36.57 eccentricity. 60 mm that is 0 0.06 meter is multiplied by 2.19 kilonewton meter. So this bending moment and tensile force moment, they are acting in opposite directions. Therefore, we have the net moment will be 19, uh, that is 19.38 minus 2.19. So there is the opposite nature. So you have to subtract. So the net moment acting at the corner is 17.19. 19.38 minus 2.19 is 17.19 kN meter. Similarly, similarly, you have to calculate the bending moment at the center of this pad. Center of this pad also that is Em GH. This is the formula for center of this pad. PH x square by 8 minus carbon moment. So carbon moment, uh, this is what this of course this value is due to this pH, then in addition to that, you have to calculate moment due to tension force as we did here, here in the earlier case. So that means here we are calculating a moment due to two things one due to pH, this values, another due to tension force. So then one will be positive, one. they will be acting in opposite directions, therefore you have to subtract and take the value. Now, as we as like this, carbon moment I have calculated, you know, now I want the echo moment at the center of the wall. At the center of the wall, so what happens due to pH, this is the formula. So already we have calculated the carbon moment as 13.38. So this is pH L square by 8, n is once again 10.18 pH is 23. Uh, if you simplify this, you will get 9.69. Once again, uh, you have to calculate the moment due to this P value, that is the same as 36.57 and 2.19. So if you subtract that value, from this 10.6 time, you are going to get the net moment. So this net moment is at center. Please note that this is at center. This is at corner. This is at corner, this is the center. Now this is the moment. Now these two values are important now for us. So one value is 17.19 kN meter, another value is 7.5 kN meter. So one 17.19 kN meter act, acts at the corner, corners of the uh, rectangle portion of the bunker and uh, 7.5 kN meter acts at the midpoint of the walls of the bunker. Now we have to check whether uh, whatever section we have provided that 180 mm thickness uh, uh, for the wall is sufficient or not. So that is done like this, just what you did in the case of RCC designs in your VE level. So MU is nothing but ultimate moment of resistance that is uh, 1.5 times a bar, or you can take it as M, MU as the maximum bending moment. We limit step method, we multiply this active moment by 1.5. So if I take this at the corner, 17.19, 1.9 into 1.5 becomes 27.785 kN meter. Now you have to calculate MU now. MU is limiting value of uh, uh, that uh, MU value is the moment of resistance value. So as per the code, this is the formula that has to be used. So you can use IS 456 2000 and SP 16. They will be provided in the examination, but you should know how to use it, which you have learned already in your VE course. So if you substitute here, FCK is 20 because up to the complete is used. V, since it is a wall is taken as a slab, width of the wall is taken as 1000 mm or 1 meter, and D is the effective thickness of the wall. Effective thickness is 180 minus 30, assuming uh, 30 mm as the effective cover, uh, you can take uh, total thickness as 180, 180 minus 30 is 150. So if you simplify this, you will be getting the value in Newton millimeter and that if you convert to kilometer meter, you are getting 62.1. So that means Newton millimeter means uh, into 10 power uh, 6, actually you simplify this, you get uh, 62.1 to 10 power 6. 10 power 6 Newton millimeter. 
that can be the mass is equal to 0.1 kilonewton meter. Now we have to compare these two values. Is 27. 0.785 to 0.51. So yeah, always M U loop should, should be greater than M U. That means in, in any design, your moment of resistance should be more than maximum bending moment. So this M U is something but maximum bending moment. M U limb is something but the moment of resistance. So so that is the criteria. Here of course it is far better. So you can try this because design is uh, actually trial and error. I have assumed 180 mm here. You can try this for 160 mm thickness also. If you assume 160 mm, this becomes 130 mm. 160 minus 30, 130. Then still you may get uh, uh, more MU limb more than uh, MU. So you can try that. So 180 mm, I have assumed here. You can assume 160 also. Now after checking, this is only checking, checking for the pending moment. After checking that, now we have to calculate the reinforcement required. So at the corners, reinforcement should be provided for this pending moment, 17.19. At the mid span, reinforcement should be provided for a moment of 7.5 kN meter. Now, here what happens, we have to calculate uh, the reinforcement separately for both these things. So for bending moment, reinforcement, uh, uh, you are getting 591 millimeter square. That means here we are taking uh, uh, for this. So this is for the that is for due to pH, due to pH uh, force uh, or pressure. This is the bending moment. So AS the bending moment I have take for this, and AS the tension I have to take for this tension force 36.57. So the formula for this one is 1.5 divided by 0.87 FY. That is the reinforcement required to take care of this uh, tensile force which is used in the wall of the bunker. So 1.5 into T is this, that is 6.57. Of course, it has to be converted to Newton. So that's why it is multiplied by 10 power, that is 1000. Divided by 0.87 into rate of steel given is 415. If simplify that you get 152 millimeter square. So what happens? Due to for this pressure moment, you need a reinforcement of 512 millimeter square. That you can get directly from SP16. Please try to use SP16. Otherwise, one equation is given. One equation is given in the code IS456-2000. That equation you have to solve. This is a quadratic equation in terms of AST. That if you solve, you will get the value of AST. Otherwise, you can directly use SP16. That is better. So in your undergraduate level, I think so you are solving the equation. But here it is not necessary. You can directly use SP16 and uh, you can get the reinforcement. You can read the reinforcement. For AST, due to tension force, this is the value. Now the total reinforcement required is the sum of these two. Sum of this total AST is 512 plus 152, which comes out to be 664 millimeter square. Since the wall is like a slab, we have to assume diameter of the wall and we have to calculate spacing of the wall. So in this case, to get 60, 664 millimeter square, assuming total of diameter walls, you can, you can provide at 160 mm center. Actually, you are getting it, you will get 170 something like that. You can reduce. So in the case of slabs, uh, normally we are uh, providing a uh, uh, little less than what we give, what we get spacing. So now this spacing can be increased uh, up to 300 mm center to center at a height of 1.75 meter. 1.75 meter means half of H. So this H I have got uh, 3.5 meter. Half of that is uh, 1.75 uh, meter. So what normally we do is when you move down at the bottom of the portion, moment will be more. Moment will be more because the pH value will be more. So more uh, weight is there. So more weight of weight, uh, core will be there at the bottom. Due to that, you will be getting more value of uh, bending moment and uh, more steel is required. At the top part, as you move upwards, uh, up to half, what what the what the need to say is up to this H by 2, up to H by 2, from here to here, you can provide uh, this much of steel. That is uh, how much? 664 millimeter square of steel or 160, 160 mm center to center, you can provide. And above this, 
you can go for 300 ml central to center. So that is the main problem. That means as you move upwards, your moment will be reduced because weight of the material above that will be less and moment will be less. So that is why you can from here to here, you can do one spacing and above it you can do another spacing. So that is the usual practice. So when at the sections where moment is more, you are going to provide a, a lesser spacing. At the sections uh, where moment is lesser, you are going to provide more spacing. More spacing means lesser amount of steel. Less spacing means more amount of steel we are providing. So this is uh, the design of side walls. In the next lecture, I will be explaining the design of this hopper bottom. So design of uh, bunker, rectangular bunker means you have to design both uh, uh, side wall as well as the hopper bottom. So before that, you have to fix the dimensions of the bunker. Dimensions mainly uh, you have to fix the height. So assuming uh, the area of the linear length and width, uh, you can always compute the height. And for that height, you have to calculate all these moments and all. Okay?